But chill, nigga, you late <laughs> Try and use me as the bait You skip steps, I nearly nailed it in the first take I do this for the sake of my mama in that dream house sitting up right beside the lake Yo, what's the full deal man? It's your boy Sonic Moto Finally another video right? Yes sir Your boy is back once again I haven't posted in I don't know how many months and uh, I'm just coming out with another video keeping you guys updated and I'm gonna rip and run and do a few things today I'm about to actually go get a new chain maybe I gotta go to cycle gear and I gotta pick up my heater jacket cord because it went out on me once again it didn't go out on me I actually lost it but I had cycle gear order it last week for me so it should be in so I'm gonna go check on that it's definitely getting much colder now you guys definitely have to go get them heater jackets super useful but I'm also oh yeah and since I haven't come out with another video you guys haven't seen this little project thing I picked up so I can you know rack up a lot of miles on it and keep my R6 with low miles you know maybe track it out but I mean track out the R6 not this but yeah I grabbed this for like $400 it was a steal you know it started and everything I'll go on and throw you guys some some old photos of when I purchased it a couple things I did to it to get it running more smoothly okay you guys so this is basically when I just got the bike you guys could definitely tell you see spider webs all on it you know but as you can see it starts up and all that this is exactly how it was when I first bought it I had the seat too but watch I'm getting ready to show you guys in a second as soon as I was getting ready to rev it cut right off on me watch so my mechanic had to do a full carb clean on it that's the $400 worth of service I was talking about he did the full carb clean new spark plugs and just got it back running smooth and he sent me a little video too all right check this out bro Ooh. I just started it idles fine now I'm gonna, gonna rev it eh this is before and after the chain clean I did my exhaust as I told you guys it looks brand new now you know that's when I did my pet cock valve because my gas was leaking but yeah man this thing is in good condition you know i equipped the levers on it now you know i super cleaned this thing up cleaned up the exhaust last week put some new brakes on there new front and new front and rear brakes and, the, and to actually correct that i actually bought it for like four hundred dollars and i had about four hundred dollars worth of engine work done on it but yeah man this thing runs smooth it's almost ready for me to get some fairings i've just been getting everything else done internally on it I even equipped this on here. This is real hard to find. They really had one more of these. I promise you guys, if any of you guys try to go search these things, not that you would even want to, you won't be able to find it. And this is an aftermarket black one. It's pretty cool. I had to get this whole chain guard because without chain guards, so much chain grease and everything just splatters all up. It's crazy. But yeah, man, this thing runs smooth. Had a Put a new pet cock valve on there because my gas was leaking. You know, just equipped a few things on there. Oh, yeah, and about this. My phone. I'm not even about to tell you guys. Hold on, it's taking snapshots and stuff. I'm not even about to tell you guys the whole story. But when I was at the Long Beach Motorcycle Show, what, on Sunday, my phone fell out my pocket and it just shattered on me, man. So I got to get a new phone. But yeah, that's that story. But yeah, man, this is this a CBR 600 F2 1992. Once I get them fans, it's gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys a few images of some clean F2s, kind of, kind of what I want mine to look like. So I'll throw them up on the screen so you guys can see. But yeah, man, I'm on my way actually to my mechanic right now. Let's start her on up. 
I had to learn all about this choke and everything, but yeah, she runs good. Hold on. I can't tell you guys how many times I ran out of gas, too. Just going to check this gas tank. See how much gas. Oh, I just filled her up. She full. We good. I can't even remember. Okay. Yes, sir. But as y'all can see in here, oops, I just revved it. But as y'all can see in here, it's definitely running smooth. I gotta clean her up and stuff, but she definitely ready for some fairings. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, I'm gonna track this out too. Tags is updated. You know, it's a little project. I might do this again with another bike. I kind of want a ninja. Maybe stunt that bike out. Stunt a ninja bike out. Man, I'm about to have like five to ten bikes, y'all, man. My next big bike is definitely going to be an R1, though. Definitely getting the R1. Ooh. KNV, KNV, KNV. Hello, how are you? Did Enrique tell you? No. So, just want to check to see if I need a chain or a sprocket. Uh -huh. And then maybe I'll get one. Maybe. And then maybe an oil change too. <laughs> Little bike I picked up. Yeah. So I can rip around the city and not care, remember? I got it for four hundred dollars, okay. and then, yeah, just restoring it a little bit. What is it? CBR six hundred F two. Okay. Yeah, and then I kind of it might be like leaking right there, but it hasn't been leaking. But I don't know. If just check on the um the sprocket and chain. Mm -hmm. I know chain I have. For that bike. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I so, right, I know. Yeah. So just let me know if, need if I need one. Yeah. You know, and maybe how long? Okay. How long could I go if like a week or you know? So let me ask Enrique to take a look at it, uh, so I can let you know. Okay. Okay. Mhm. Mm All right, y'all. So I'm letting it warm up once again, and I was actually trying to get some grips, but. Their universal ones didn't even fit, so I'm going to have to buy some custom ones. But I'm glad I didn't because I don't know exactly what kind of grips I'm going to even get yet. I mean, what kind of fairings I'm going to get to match. So, uh, my mechanic right there went on and lubed up my chain. Right, I mean, they, they <coughs> I was going to get a new chain too, but they said that I didn't even need a new chain. <coughs> it just needed some slight adjustments. It needed some slight adjustments and he put some real nice like wax type lube on it so ooh, it's about to feel like butter right now. I love when you get a new chain or you uh, lube or wax your chain and clean it all up. The ride feels so much smoother. And the shifting feels like butter, I swear. Cause I already feel it getting chilly and what is she doing being reckless like that? Where is she coming from, off the freeway? I bet you that cycle gear right there calling me. I bet you. Ooh, this thing's still not warmed up. I left a little bit too early, that's what I'm talking about. It's about to turn off on me. Watch, I bet y'all turn off on me. Watch, 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 watch. 
Yep, turned off on me. Told you. And I'm sitting here like I'm at a light. Hold on, I should let this thing warm up some more. Before I just take off, don't, shouldn't I? All right, let me just put the choke down so I don't have to rev so much. Let it warm up a little bit more. I'm about to hot rod on this freeway right here. Or it should be good, let's see. Yeah, we good. So I just got my heater cord, and man, they were looking for it for like 15 minutes. Thank God they found it, because they were gonna, they, he said he didn't want to have to tell me that they lost it. He said one guy took it out the package. Like, what are you gonna take it out the package for? That's reckless, bro. So, I'm just now leaving cycle gear. I gotta, uh, I'm gonna go maybe clean the bike up just a little bit. And then get ready, because I gotta leave and go to Riverside. So, oh yeah, and I also got uh, bought this little cargo net, so I don't have to have my backpack on anymore. Right there, I, hope it's, I don't know if y'all can see it, I was pretty reckless. Tried to turn around while I was driving. But, I'm sure y'all see it. Yeah, y'all, so I'm about to head on the riverside. I put my little cramp buster on there for like the little cruise control. You know what I'm saying? Chain all lubed up. Didn't even need a new chain. And I actually have got this again, this little cargo neck, because that's real useless. I'm not going to need to have anything on my back. I hate having things on my back. Got the little heater core ready. You know what I'm saying? For when I come back. But yeah, man. I'm going to wrap this video up right there. Thank you everybody for watching. It felt good to post another video. Much more coming again. And you guys already know. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up for me. You know what I'm saying? Like this video. So I can keep posting more. And much more people can see it. You know what I'm saying? Get them subscribers up. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.